Just like in NumPy, Pandas introduces a new type of object for holding data. And this object is called a data frame. And you might sometimes also see Panda series discussed. We're going to go into the documentation so that we can understand what a data frame and what a series is. So let's go to our favorite search engine and search for Panda's data frame. And the first non-add that we see is pandas.dataframe in the pandas documentation. So just like in other documentation, we've got a function name, we've got some information about parameters, which are also detailed here. And in our case, we don't have a return, but normally there'd be information about a return. We've got some C also and some examples, just like in NumPy. So what's a data frame? Well, it's a two-dimensional heterogeneous tabular data structure. What does that really mean? So two-dimensional, hopefully that's kind of clear. Think about spreadsheets in something like Excel. And heterogeneous tabular data structure, again, think about like a data of results. Not every column is going to have the same type. You might have a string in one column, a date time in another column, and a number in another column. In a NumPy array, everything has to be the same data type, but in a data frame, they can be different for different columns. The other key thing is that the axes, the rows and columns, they're all labeled. So a NumPy, you can only access through its index, the ith row or the jth column. But in data frames, you can access it based on a column name. A series is actually basically a singular column inside a data frame. And you can think of a data frame as a container for lots of series. Like a NumPy array, data frames come with their own attributes, such as how many columns are there, what are the types of the columns, and so on, and its own methods, such as one we've seen before in NumPy, which is the mean down here. We can also do the median and the max. 